Normally, as, as I go through the newspapers, I tend to um, look at the Daily Telegraph last thing at night, and there's an article today on Saturday, and uh, I, I, I find myself going to bed quite late tonight, um, an article by Daniel Hannan about President Putin and how Putin is on his last legs, really, um, and... Uh, this is a comprehensive analysis of Ukraine's military offensive in the Kursk Oblast. Um, and uh, Daniel Hannan believes it's decisive and strategically brilliant, uh, a maneuver which is utterly destructive for uh, President Putin. And I, I, th I think this is a this is a telling and an interesting article, the fall of Vladimir Putin is now only a matter of time. Ukraine's incursion into Kursk uh, will have been intended to bring forward the end of the dictator's rule. And and I think this is exactly the right um, uh, the, the right the right interpretation to to have. Hannan praises Ukrainian intelligence and military coordination, emphasizing the effectiveness of the Ukrainian combined arms approach, which involved cyber attacks, electronic warfare, conventional military tactics, propaganda to destabilize Russian defenses. Uh, but it also involved um, an, an understanding of the Russian welcome, because the, 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 the Russian civilians who were left in, in the region uh, didn't throw stones. They didn't attack the Ukrainians. They, they may not necessarily have welcomed them. They were largely indifferent to them. And the Ukrainians have been benign uh, occupiers, uh, it, it seems. That, that is certainly the impression that is given. And Hannan argues that the offensive has caught both Russia and Ukraine's Western allies off guard. Um, marking a significant Ukrainian victory that not only secures territory but also shifts the strategic calculus of this war. And he compares the operation to historical military strategies, um, notably likening it to Israel's counteroffensive during the Yom Kippur War, suggesting that Ukraine has successfully uh, disrupted Russian supply lines and captured substantial numbers of Russian conscripts to be able to trade, which which they did this morning. The article further explores the broader implications of the offensive, and Hannan suggests that Ukraine's actions uh, aim to demoralize Russian forces and civilians, particularly by targeting infrastructure and drawing comparisons to the Soviet Union's costly war in Afghanistan. But But that went on for many, many years because, you know, Russia doesn't give up. Hannan asserts that Ukraine's ultimate goal to weaken Putin's grip on power by making the war increasingly unpopular within Russia uh, has been effective and, um, and, and that this will almost certainly lead to uh, future instability in the, in the Russian system. He's critical of Putin's response. Why would why would you not be the the the, the grandmother in Kursk uh, on 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 Telegram was critical of Putin's response, which he views as inadequate and increasingly desperate. And he suggests that Putin's failure to mobilize sufficient forces to counter Ukraine's advance, combined with internal economic and social strains, will eventually lead to a significant shift in Russia's political landscape. At the moment. Putin's main focus is to rearrange the advisers and the, um, the, the ministers around the table. Hannan concludes by uh, reflecting on the possibility of a decisive internal challenge to Putin's authority, similar to Prigozhin's earlier mutiny, driven by the growing dissatisfaction among Russia's elite. But, of course, a lot of this assumes that Putin is alive. If you take the assumption that Putin is dead, then presumably the internal 
the, uh, the, 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 the top of the Kremlin system knows who is in charge. But the wider public don't. And this is a secret which is, uh, in that scenario, very well, very well kept. Um, it may not be true, of course. But Hannan's article is a blend of military analysis and political commentary, and it offers such a um, such a good review. It's cautiously optimistic about Ukraine's prospects, while highlighting the potential for significant change in the Russian. Um, political system as a result of the ongoing conflict. I, I think it's too early to say how that change will be brought about. And, um, but in the same way that Putin has demonstrated that he likes to take action slowly, decisively and vindictively, that is a an attitude which is shared by his immediate um, command structure around him. So I, I cannot imagine that in the long term Putin's future is likely to be secure if he is still alive. And if he's not alive, whoever is controlling the Kremlin, um, even under the fiction of Putin and the... And, 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 and the um, and the theatre of the doppelgangers, their future equally is um, uncertain. And when, when, the, um, when they will find themselves shoved out of an open window, who knows? It could be tomorrow, it could be in two weeks' time, three months' time, a year's time. Uh, Putin has, 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 um, ha has taught his followers to act decisively and to act slowly and to act with extreme prejudice and extreme force.